Okay, as I say, you want this adjusting that counterweight there just enough that it's the mice are going to tip over and fall inside. This is basically a food container. I think it's for flour, sugar, maybe rice. I think I got this from Poundland. It does say Tupperware on there. Okay, you have this sort of. I put flour in, pour it out. Presumably, I don't. I don't know how airtight this seal is. To be honest with you. This is what I'm going to use it for. This sits on this sort of ridge here. And you get a little squeaker coming up here. You need a ramp, obviously, a wooden ramp or something. Unless you're going to put this in the ground. If you're going to put it in the ground, I would say you might want holes in if you're putting it outside for any main water to overflow. Mouse walks along here. Let me try and get something a bit quite lightweight actually. And this might be more nearer the weight of a mouse, I think. So it comes over, tips and falls into the bottom here. Now it's up to you whether you put water in there or not. If you put water in, it's going to drown any mice that fall in. Once they drown, they can't get out, sort of thing. I'll show you around this just now. So this is a hood. This can come off pretty tight. I would say put your hold this like bit one ten. There's a bit plate on here. You know, just tight that. And then you put some bait there. Something like peanut butter. It's a good one. It's got curves on there, so it's not too hard to clean out every so often. Make sure you do clean it out every so often. It was the right way, wasn't it? That's it. But that helps keep... Because I think mice or rats or whatever don't like, you know, they like to have their heads protected in a way. So basically the mouse walks along, it tips over. It has this plate here, that has it. so any mice, more mice coming up can't get caught under here. And that stops it tipping too far as well. Here then. Show you underneath. So it does have this block here. This is like a counterweight which you can adjust. Slide it backwards and forwards. You see the position I've got this one in at the moment. You slide it back a bit depending on the weight. M3 button headed balls here on the hinge. Same as that. Let's uh, look from underneath, see the ridge there, well for the ridge to go in, and this ridge here. One advantage with this is it, you do get bucket ones, and bucket ones are going to be quite wide, whereas this one, I would say you want... Uh, Say about 120 millimeters wide there. That will give it a little bit of room as well. By whole thingy, I would allow 300. 300 is well over actually. It's a lot less than that. 250, 250 millimeters, and the height of this, well, to the top of that hood thing there. 250 see now I, I stuck this on with some yuho glue some of this yuho all peppered as easy of this plate on here and that's on there strong enough look I can hold it it's not coming loose but that can come off I can get um like wallpaper scraper paint scraper what you might use to get getting parts off the bed under there and I can break well pry that off so to speak. So there's a bit of a look round and the main advantage I would say is that it's gone narrow width so that can go in 
Now where the space is then quite often you'd get a bucket. So that's a mouse trap tipper, which you know if you get a bucket you're still going to need a ramp or something. <laughs> 